Many of us remember the accounts of this chapter from our time spent in Sunday school. We remember how Gideon's army of 32,000 was dwindled down to a meager 300. We remember God telling Gideon to send anyone who was afraid to face the Midianites home, leaving Gideon with 10,000 soldiers. We remember God giving Gideon a sort of test to bring his troop numbers down even further to the remnant of 300 men that would eventually defeat the massive army of the Midianites. Verses 2 and 4 tell us God did this so that Israel would know that it was the Lord who brought them to victory over their enemy. God wanted them to have to rely on him and have no excuse for their victory to be of their own hand. Let's think for a moment on what we know about Gideon. He was a doubtful man many times asking for more confirmation of the Lord's promises. In verses 9 and 10, we see just that. The Lord told Gideon the enemy camp would be given over to him, and because of Gideon's doubt, the Lord gave even more proof. The takeaway is this. We should have faith that God will come through even when the odds are stacked against us. If God is speaking to us, then he is faithful and just to come through on those promises. There is no need to doubt. Oftentimes, he wants to show the impossible through his church in order to show the outside world his true power. If we rely on ourselves with our resources, then it isn't God's victory. Remember, Gideon rallied those 32,000 men. God wanted to do it with less. Sometimes that's the case with us too. We have to give in and let go in order to see God work. Zechariah 4.6 says, Not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Psalm 20 verse 7 says, Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we remember the name of the Lord our God. Christian, if the Lord brings you to it, he will bring you through it.